Okay, in this uh, installment of gadgets for the homestead, I'm gonna go over a couple different things. Uh, I'm gonna try to hook you in on this one, but uh, <laughs> that was really bad. But uh, a lot of interesting things that not necessarily you would think you need for the homestead, but they are very helpful and the products are very useful. Um, you're probably wondering why I've got a tool, tool chest in the, uh, in the kitchen here. And you can see the uh, bug zapper. Man, I love that thing. It is just the greatest thing. I need to buy a couple more for a couple different rooms because we still have a periodic fruit fly, but uh, the thing zapped three times last night. So they're out there at night and it, it gets them. And one of the first things we're gonna go over though is uh, a good degreaser for the homestead. Okay, I've got some uh, super clean here. And I will show you in some clips here because I'm not gonna, you could use this in the kitchen and just clean, clean, clean. But uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, it is uh, clean right now. But uh, I use this on the ATV, um, tractor, the truck, just anywhere actually where I need a degreaser. And uh, it's, I will say, uh, Super Clean did send this to me and I'm very thankful for it. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little, skeptical because when people want to send stuff to me, but uh, I have used it and I really like it. Uh, one of the things I like about it though is my degreaser of choice used to be brake cleaner just because it was, uh, it just seemed like it was doing its job. And unfortunately, I don't always wear gloves. You know, those rubber gloves when I'm working on stuff. And when I use brake cleaner, it burns my hands and it kind of hurts. And uh, this stuff, I've got it all over me and it, it hasn't done anything, but it takes off the grease just like the brake cleaner did. And I like using it because, um, you know, when you do bearings and things like that, it's just messy. And it, a lot of times it gets on your hands and not, it's probably not meant to be, but I spray a little bit on my hands and, you know, clean my hands off too because uh, I hate getting grease on me. I'm one of those uh, things. So a good degreaser. I mean, you could use it for anything on the homestead. I mean, you know, the kitchen, you know, your tractor, you just... It makes working with anything so much easier when it's clean. And I do recommend the Super Clean. I'm probably gonna be using it in a lot of videos and just it'll be in the background being used because it's it's just a handy, handy, handy thing. Like when I get something and I like it, kind of like my bug zapper, it's, I keep them and I usually get more. <laughs> so a good degreaser is worth its weight in gold on your homestead. Uh, just don't use it on the cast iron. Have a good degreaser. It's very handy because uh, on the homestead you deal with greasy, dirty things often, and it, it uh, it's just a good to have one too. That, as I stated, that does not burn my, burn your hands <laughs> like, like some of the brake cleaners do. So, I uh, re highly recommend this. And uh, now we'll go to the next item. That's kind of an oddball here. Okay, the next gadget for homesteaders. This is a weird one, but. Uh, this one has saved my bacon more than, I don't know, probably more than I on both hands counted. Uh, what is it? It is, and this is the, the, the main point, it is a low cost, I will say that again, low cost uh, metal detector. I believe this one I got for Christmas a couple years ago, uh, a couple years ago, so I'm old now, so it's probably like between five years and 10 years, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere around there. But uh, I believe even, when I got this, it was like a $20 Menards purchase. So I will put in some links of some low cost ones on Amazon, some affiliate links, but why do you need a metal detector um, on the homestead? Uh, I will tell you why. Uh, for starters, uh, it's not like you're gonna be digging for gold. You know, who does it? Or unless I am digging for, well, no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, Arkansas does not have any gold that, that we know of. Uh, Trust me, there's no gold here in Arkansas. But what you're gonna use this for though, maybe you have buried electric lines like we did. Maybe you have a septic tank lid like we could not find, but you could find the metal bolts holding it together. You can adjust these and run it over an extension cord plugged in to kind of get the sound and then go out and what I did in the driveway and I found that uh, power cord and it was funny. The line from the building to the house 
was a nice straight line and I thought, oh, the power line is nice and straight, just, you know, I'm gonna go there, dig it up and run a new line. It went like this. It was crazy. And I would have never known that without this metal detector. Also, yesterday, I'm embarrassed to admit, I went down the trail behind, the mountain trail behind our house. It literally goes down the mountain, curves, there's a T, and if you don't turn at the T, you literally go off a cliff. And then it goes, it turns, and it goes down to the creek, which is now dry, unfortunately, because we're in a drought. But I wanted to go down it. I've walked it before, and it, it's, it's, it's steep. So, you know me doing the Instagram thing. I'm driving the four-wheeler with, uh, driving it with one hand, and then I've got my phone out, filming myself, and then next thing I know, it got real. And I was like, instead of being like this, I was like angled straight down. And the next thing I knew, I'm a half a mile down the trail, with both hands on the steering wheel. And I'm like, oh goodness, I dropped my phone. And I've got the old iPhone SE from 2016. I keep changing the battery. I don't wanna get rid of this thing. I just, and I just ordered a new battery. I was like, oh my gosh, I just dropped my phone that I just ordered a new ba battery for. And I was like, holy cow, I need to find this thing. So. Once I was at the bottom of the hill, I turned the four wheel around. I could barely make it up this thing because our, our four wheel is only two wheel drive and I'm driving up and I'm not even kidding. There is like a foot deep of leaves, the whole trail and the trail is steep and it, and it curves. And I went to the spot where I knew I last started to take the phone out and made a marker there. And when I, I drove up to that, and as I'm driving, I was looking, 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 no luck. Came back to the house, grabbed the metal detector, ran down there, got to the point where I knew I had my phone last, and then just literally took this thing and just went like this with, you gotta put headphones on. So you plug a set of headphones into this, and then I just went and just silent, 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 and I was like, bloop, bloop. I was like, and there's my phone. So you gotta have one of these for the homestead. It's just, kind of like degreaser, you gotta have a good degreaser, you gotta have a good metal detector. Well, not a good metal detector, just a metal detector that's affordable, because uh, you're gonna use it more than once. But, uh, you know, maybe if you are looking for gold, get something better, but a cheap metal detector is worth its weight in gold. Uh, yeah, that was really bad. But, uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna, now that I've hooked you in with this one, we're gonna go into the next product, and it's kind of an odd one, but not really. Okay, what do I have here? Kind of some, uh, I'm gonna hook you in with this one. Uh, actual hanging hooks. These are little metal hanging hooks with two screws. As you can see behind me, I've got cast iron and I need to upgrade that because right now there is little tiny nails that are holding these in. And I am so afraid that they are just gonna pull out. So I bought two different ones. I bought these at the bargain. These ones were the cheapest ones. They're metal. I don't know, hopefully you can see this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom it in on the table because they're just so neat. Okay, hopefully you can see these. They come in a little weird little case, you know, but look at these things. They've got two holes chamfered for screws and they come with screws. So I have these hooks, and they're the perfect size for cast iron. But I also did not buy just one set of hooks. I bought another set. Uh, believe it or not, <laughs> I, I made a mistake on these ones, and these are much bigger than I thought they were gonna be. So here they are right here, and you can see the size difference. But what are so cool about these ones? I don't know if they really are because of the price, but they are supposed to look like, like a blacksmith made them. So they're very like rough feeling. They feel like cast iron. So it's kind of, uh, I thought they would have been great to hang the cast iron, but they are way too big. So these ones I'm gonna find a new project for. I was originally gonna use these for the cast iron. They just look so cool in the picture. And it's one of those items that it looked much smaller in the picture. 
This one caught me by surprise. I thought it was the size of this one. And you can see the size of these. And this one also does come with a screw, a pretty good size screw. But I need to find a project for these, but these are just so cool looking. So maybe like a hat rack, a coat rack, something I can build. But uh, you're always gonna be hanging stuff on the homestead and why not get a good uh, way to hang it. Now this one though, I will mount this to hang some cast iron and I will do that right now. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is take this one down. And as you can see, it's just a little nail up there. That's all it is. Okay, I'm gonna take the old nail and lay, leave it there just to kind of use it as a guiding point, let it hang naturally so that it'll straighten itself out. And then I'll put the bottom screw in, then take out the nail and put in the top screw. Um, the product states that this will hold 35 pounds. I wouldn't hang 35 pounds on anything like that in the kitchen. Uh, the cast iron doesn't weigh anywhere near that. So I'm gonna go with just um, using these for cast iron. But I mean, it, they state that it will hold 35 pounds. I'm not gonna try it though, just so you know. Okay. That came out too easy. Now I've got a hole started for this next screw. And you might be wondering why I'm not using an electric screwdriver. I don't want to over torque these. And I want to make sure that it's getting a good purchase in there. Oh, look at that, that is nice. Perfecto, look at that. I don't know if that was the right way. I don't know if it went. Ah, um, I let my wife fix that. Okay, that was a uh, pretty interesting um, use of uh, product, those hooks. And then probably next time you see the uh, gadgets for homesteading, I will have this other one done. And then, you can't really see it right now, there's a wall right here where I have a bunch of other cast iron, all kinds of needy, neato stuff to hang all right there. So that's gonna be my project is putting those. I still want to find a project for these bigger hooks. So if anybody could think of something, let me know really need to start looking at the size of things before I order them. <laughs> but I will find a use for them eventually, but they are very cool looking. So I kind of want something rustic to go with them. But uh, what's the last product that I'm gonna have right now? It is uh, cinch straps, small cinch straps. These I bought for the four wheeler, my truck. They are literally just a small three foot strap. Uh, I have tons and tons and tons of uh, tie downs for the trailer and they're like 16 foot, 10 foot, you know, just humongous ones. And they have those ratchet buckles. You got to like ratchet down and then to release them, you got to hit a button and it's like, you know, they pop and they're, they're just so hard to use sometimes when I just want to, you know, cinch something down on the, the front rack of the four wheeler. And uh, what's so great about these, they have a metal buckle. All you do is thread that in like that and they hold. Like I'm pulling with all my might, they hold. And then to tighten them, you just pull it and then it holds, you know. And I just use these uh, in my pickup truck. I put a ammo can under the hood in the spare battery location and I keep the air pump, emergency air pump, off-road air pump, and I cinched it down with one of these. I use this on the four-wheeler, on the front rack. I cinch things down all the time, tools, whatever. Uh, the last one I had was like an eight foot strap and I just had to tie down the excess so much. And I, I was always like, wow, I'm always using just like a small amount. So I found these short straps and I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use these a lot. Uh, the package that I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So six of them, cause there's one in my truck right now. I'm gonna put some of these on the four wheeler and uh, well worth gadgets for the homestead. Uh, modern homestead needs modern solutions. So they say, 
But uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, this is always fun for me because I'm uh, I love gadgets and I love uh, things that make life easier. So till next time, thanks again. If you uh, hit that like and subscribe, it goes a long way. Uh, so very helpful to me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but uh, it, it goes a long way to be a subscriber. And, uh, and also comments, hit me up with those comments. I love responding to comments, it, it's fun. I don't talk to people out here, usually don't see anybody for at least two weeks, so hit some comments. But uh, till next time, and if you know any gadgets you want me to test out, and I think it can be used on the homestead, I will. So uh, thanks again, and till next time. <laughs>